Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the first week of August. This is kind of like you and the other person. You pick a side. You know, it is what it is. The first two cards that kind of that come out is the connection between the two of you, or the resolution, or however you see it. You pick which side is yours. So what do we have for Cancer for the first week of August? This would be like August 2nd or 3rd to the 9th or the 10th. So what do we have for Cancer? Suffering in silence. Mm. And the world card reversed. So we have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the world card in reversed. So there's there's a the connection between you and another person. Somebody somebody is really needs to communicate. Okay, communication is needed. That suffering in silence that's extreme in reverse. There's a, a lack. There's unfinished business here. There's some sort of unfinished business. Some sort of communication is needed. Instead of just not saying anything, communication is needed. Somebody is really really struggling. They're struggling because there's a lack of closure or something like that. So it's not over yet. Something isn't over yet. And we have a feeling of being overwhelmed. Okay. So what do we have for this side? The sun. Destiny. The wheel of fortune. And trapped in fear. So this person over here is obviously trapped in fear. They're... Uh, having a hard time stepping outside of their comfort zone. Uh, there's an opportunity. This is, this is the sun card for happiness. There's some sort of fate. Okay, this is, this is fate, karma, destiny, good luck, being at the right place at the right time. Um, this is an opportunity. There's destined happiness here. There's an opportunity for happiness. Okay, this is destiny. It's meant to be. This is a big, bright opportunity for happiness, but somebody is letting fear get in the way. Somebody's letting fear get in the way of happiness. It's meant to be, okay? It is meant to be. So let's go over here. Woo! Ace of Wands. So this is another person. We got one person over here that is very worried. You know, what are they worried about? We're going to get to that. Uh, this person over here is excited. They're very passionate. They, uh, you see the passion? Okay, this is the Ace of Wands. They're very sensual. They're very sexual. This person is, uh, uh, they want to just go for it. Put it that way. Patience. This person needs patience. Uh, this is the Temperance card. So this is a card of purpose. This car, this person is very much at ease. Very, goes with the flow. Very definitely goes with the flow. Um, very high vibrational individual here. This person has experienced some sort of transformation, and they are ready. They are ready. They are burning with desire, whoever this side is. Now, this patience, this, this temperance card is there is a purpose. There is a reason. This is blossoming. It's growing. This person um, is very balanced. They're at peace. They are, whoever this person is. Obstacles and challenges. Now, the five of swords. Um... No, it's a five of wands. It's the five of wands. Sorry. Um, so this is so this is a five of wands. Somebody is, even though this person is very passionate and they are excited and they are ready. They've they've healed from something. This person has healed, but they are still struggling. They're struggling with maybe some mental conflict. They're a little bit worried. This person, they're ready. But you notice, you know, they, if they step onto the other side, you know, they might lose their footing or something. I think this person does have a little bit of fear right here. Obstacles and challenges. We have somebody here that is definitely 
wondering if they should probably thinking should I do this is there enough is there can I do this should I do this so this person is 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 ready they want to they're excited they've been through a situation already which has caused their as evolution um a death of some sort they've been through something significant in their life they've grown from it they're very very passionate about the future but they are still worried so this person is still worried they're a little bit worried they're worried about um if they should you know should i should i do this it's kind of risky i feel like this person they're ready but it is they understand that this is risky Ooh, this is a soulmate connection this is this is a soulmate connection cancer whoever you are dealing with is very in tune this person feels the connection whether it's you this could be your side this could be your side of the person that you're dealing with this is definitely meant to be meant to be okay whoever you are asking about or talking about or whatever it is this is a soulmate connection but there's fear on both sides this is fear and this is fear there it is but the connection is strong this connection is strong and it feels like it's destined it's meant to be this is this is definitely beautiful okay it's a beautiful connection where you know you uh it's easy it's easy it's you mirror each other you mirror each other easily okay but this is uh the lovers is typically and this is harmony and this is harmony it's a very harmonious connection whoever is on this side um they know they know i feel like it's i feel like it's the feminine on this side i feel like whoever the feminine is is on this side I don't know why, because the way the card is, we have the feminine on this side and the masculine on this side. And I don't know why I feel strongly. I feel like the feminine is over here. And I feel like the feminine is struggling because she's she's ready. She's ready. She's passionate. She's in her high vibration. She knows. She knows. She's evolved. She's... Um, very spiritual as well we have a very spiritual individual over here you could be dealing with a gemini you could be dealing with a sagittarius either way there's some there's some sort of unfinished business between you and this person you know who this person is it's not over yet it's not over with this person and there's 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 silence there's silence. There's a barrier. You see the suffering and silence in between. Somebody, there's a lack of communication here. There's a communication barrier between you and this person. And it has to do with fear. I feel like the masculine is over here and they are trapped in fear. They may probably feel the connection. This person, they feel the vibration. They see that it's a bright opportunity. They may even feel like it's meant to be. You know, this is maybe it's even too good to be true. You know, um, interesting. Awareness. Wow. So this is a divine connection. This is some manifested. I feel like this maybe this masculine manifested this soulmate. Um, this is manifestation. This is awareness. This is the ability to have whatever you want. This is called in a soulmate. This is a wish being granted. The prayer is being answered of some sort. We have somebody on this side that has called in a soulmate and their soulmate is here, but fear is in the way. Okay. So... But this person does know, and I believe when I pulled the car out, I, I, I think I was saying this person knows. They both know. Both people know. Anyhow, awareness, that's, that's shedding the old to bring in the new. Uh, finding the resources to be successful, doing whatever it takes, taking action. This person needs to take action. And the, this is a very masculine card. The magician is masculine, and that's another one you could look up. So the this is the masculine side. That just clarified that for me. So anyway, the masculine takes action and needs to step out of their fear 
because there is some sort of fated uh, connection here. This is fate. It's meant to be. So this week, I do believe the masculine will be taking action because the magician takes action. Finds the resources to step out of their fear and, and uh, step into the light, you know. And this is communication. So I believe there's some sort of communication coming from this person. Now, if you if you don't know this person already, you this could be sudden because this could be sudden, could be a sudden spark. It could be it could definitely be all of a sudden. You could meet somebody. This is unexpected. It could, you could meet somebody unexpectedly. It could be outside. Could be you know at a garden. I don't know why I feel like that. Could be have something to do with the ground. You know, I feel like rocks. You know what I mean. I don't know, if you're out near the rocks or you're sitting on the rocks or you're waiting by the rocks or whatever that means. It may have something to do with a garden as well. But anyway, this could be a sudden connection. It could happen all of a sudden. This is like serendipity. It definitely could be. This could be an event where, you know, you're outside. It feels like you meet this person outside or you do something outside with this person or met this person outside or something like that. Um, Cancer, I feel like you are dealing with a soulmate. I think that both of you feel the connection. I think there's some sort of uh, communication barrier that is hindering your success. I think that the feminine is ready. She is ready. She is She is ready. Um, whoever this person is, is ready. They are ready. They are ready to connect. They, they, they uh, feel very uh, strongly. It's a, it's a very strong connection. It's definitely meant to be. But the, there's a challenge of, of uh, stepping over the edge. Stepping over the edge. That's the challenge, you know, stepping over that edge. Memories of love. Accelerated motion. Things are going to happen this week. Things are going to happen fast. Things are going to happen fast. There's going to be messages going back and forth. Uh, things are going to change. This... <coughs> it's funny. Spir this period of stagnation is going to come to an end. And I feel like love is going to blossom this week for you. I do. I think somebody is about to take action. Um, and maybe you're going to make some new memories or something like that. And I don't know, this reading is not going to be for every single person, but somebody is about to step outside of their uh, head and face their fears by the looks of things, and things are going to change. There's going to be a lot of forward movement. Things are going to happen really, really fast. A connection is about to deepen between you and another person. If you are completely single... You could meet somebody out of the blue. This is definitely all of a sudden. Okay, it is all of a sudden things blossom. All of a sudden things blossom. And they blossom fast. Okay, get prepared for some messages. Uh, communication. And it feels like making memories of some sort with somebody that you love. Good luck.